In this video, I'm going to show you simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the charging port on the Samsung Z Flip 3. Starting off, I've got this phone on the hot plate. I've got it set to 85 degrees C. You can use a heat gun or hairdryer to achieve the same effect. So after it's spent five minutes warming up on here, this thing is the perfect size to fit our suction cup onto. So we clip that on there. And then I'm just going to lift upwards very gently. And hopefully we'll find that that will come away from the back cover. Don't be tempted to pick up the wrong side. Obviously the charging port is in the bottom half of the phone. If it doesn't lift up so easy, then just use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol all around the edge here. And that should soften it up enough for you to begin lifting and separating that back cover. It takes a little bit of force, but as you can see, we are creating a gap here. And once you have created a gap, you'll be able to fit the plastic guitar pick in there and just very carefully work your way around here, lifting it up with the suction cup and running the pick around the edge. Don't insert it too far because we don't want to damage any of the cables under there. And don't go at it too aggressively because we certainly don't want to crack the glass back cover on this phone. So I'm just continuing working my way around. The aim that I've got is to leave this side on there because as I lift it up, it should just open like a hinge almost. So now that it's ready, we can lift it up like that and that's separated. One quick bit of advice that I will say is while this is warm, we're gonna replace this with a, a new seal in a, in a minute. So whilst it's warm, peel off any of the remaining adhesive because once we swap the charge pot out, we will also stick a new seal on it. I use a little spinny tool to get any glue residue off there. If you don't have one of these, you can achieve the same effect. It's just a little bit slower by rubbing your thumb along the adhesive and you'll find that it just peels off like that look. It's just a bit slower than the tool. And if you do this all day, you'll end up with blisters. One phone's not gonna hurt, but doing it all day, every day, you'll get blisters and friction burns on your thumb. So that's off, that's clean. I'll do the same to this one because like I said, whilst it's warm, the adhesive is a lot more pliable and workable. Plus if I skip this step, the video would only be 30 seconds long because this one is a super simple, quick and easy repair that anybody can do from home with the right tools. Let's take this over to the workbench now where we'll swap the charging port itself out. So now that we're into the phone, we've got one, two, three, four, five crosshead screws to remove what's holding down this plastic cover on the back. I'm gonna use the electric screwdriver for this. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. It's really handy for these Samsung devices where there's lots of standard screws to remove. Just remember that one of these screws is one of these little black ones and it just goes here. You can put a little marker on it if you think you're gonna forget but it's fairly easy to remember that. It is also a good idea to lift up this one because we want to disconnect the battery to isolate power from the device before we go playing around with any of these connectors on there. So lift that one up and then the battery is just this connector here. Use a plastic spudger to disconnect it and that means that the phone is now going to be turned off whilst we do this repair. Moving to back down to the bottom of the device, I'm going to lift up this plastic shield, what holds the loudspeaker on there, and then we can fold back this wireless charging coil. There's one more crosshead screw down the bottom here. Go ahead and remove that. Store that for reinstallation later, and then disconnect this connector, just there. This connector, just here. And then we're going to lift up just here, look, to remove the charging port and pop it out like that. What you will notice is there's another flex cable connected to it just here. All you have to do is go ahead, take your plastic spudger and disconnect it very simply. This one can now be recycled or thrown in the bin, whichever you choose to do with it, make sure you do it safely. And then the part that we're gonna be using is of course a genuine Samsung service pack part from our friends at Headlane. I think you need to have a trade account set up with them to buy from them but they are very good suppliers for all genuine parts for Android devices. Maybe even Apple devices nowadays, I'm not seeing, but I think 
they do a lot of uh, options for that. So once you've got the new charging port, we just need to reattach it to this flex cable first. It's literally a case of doing everything that we've just done, but in reverse. So reconnect this one first to slot it into the bottom of the phone or into the chassis of the phone. So to make sure that this sits down flat, just make sure there's no flex cables in the way like this one. And then go in with the charging port first. Make sure that it sort of slides in and under. And then apply a little bit of pressure to make sure it goes flat. Then we can reconnect this guy, reconnect this guy. And then you've got that one crosshead screw that was holding down this part just here. Secure that down. Then fold the wireless charging coil back over, followed by that plastic shield just there. I'm gonna re-secure the black long screw first, just here. And then we've got four of those little silver crosshead ones. Just beware here, right? There's a lot of strong magnets on these edges. The parts, the, the sensor to make sure that the clamshell sensors when it's, uh, when it's closed up. So you might, you might, the screws might ping at the magnets is what I'm getting at. Another screw here, another one just here. And then the last one for this part is just here. That means that we can now go back up here, reconnect the power, reinstall this little metal bracket. Just have a look at how I've got this bracket. It goes that way, holding down the cable like that and sits flat. It'll only go on one way anyway. You'll struggle to get it wrong. Resecure it with the two crosshead screws. Just there. And for resealing it back up, we use this adhesive service pack kit. And what you'll notice, look, is that it comes with the replacement screws. So if you've already lost any, if you've bought this, you've got some spare screws in there. I think this, this the sticker kit was about as expensive as the charging port itself as well, which is frustrating. But all we're gonna do is line it up just here, top corner, stick it down, apply pressure all around, and then we'll peel off the top film. So now we can peel off the guide film, which is the clear one on the top there. And that leaves behind just one more little green film and this is usually a bit awkward to get off um, because it sticks pretty well to the adhesive itself and you might have to use the tweezers to help you along with that so, yeah like that peel it off because we cleaned this off already at the beginning it's ready just to stick on and secure down just like that apply some pressure all around the edges if you have the luxury of a hot plate then it'll probably help to stick that on there for five minutes just to warm it up and let the adhesive do its thing. But that'll leave you with one phone with a working charging port now. Turn it back on. Make sure that it works and you've not broken anything else. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.